I was just in the kitchen until I came across a lost puppy, a cockroach who was separated from his crew and immediately I went and I got Megatron to put her in action, put her in use, F finally, like once in her entire life, chill! Megatron was doing her thing, slapping the shit out of this cockroach left and right, sniffing her and you know, before she goes all the way on chewing and swallowing her and I was standing at the back like a sick person watching it all happen until I realized people actually poisoned my building because he has a very huge cockroach problem so I just immediately went, kicked Megatron and saving saved her from a very slow, painful, poison death immediately took my slippers and that was the last thing the cockroach saw I don't know if his friends, crew or family member witnessed whatever happened but let's just say I murdered Bob and I wasn't the only one who murdered someone today. Hamza... Fuck man, I always forget his name. I was going for a very fucking cool opening line, I guess. That's a big ass fell. Anyways, Hamza Shimov has murdered his own career and reputation two days ago when he promoted his meme coin, Smash. A pump, pump, dump. That's what they call the crypto scams right now. He promoted a coin called Smash. That's his line in the octagon whenever he wants to eat someone out and smash them inside that ring. That's his line. He says Smash. And less than 24 hours of promoting that coin, 94, 95% of the whole coin just crashed less than 24 hours. Leaving what? Angry fans who paid a million dollars into that coin, invested in that coin, believed Hamza when he told them to go invest in this. And they were just angry at Hamza and called, called him a scammer. And did Hamza stand up his ground, look them in the eyes and say, I will smash all of you. How dare you talk to me like that? Nope. He deleted every single video and statement he made on his Twitter promoting the coin. Three days ago, Mr. Smash posted this on his Twitter saying, what coin should I buy, brothers? Guys, I hear a lot about cryptocurrency. Which coin is the best who will show me? Now, some of you might not be familiar with this marketing strategy that these content creators, they do whenever they want to promote something. A day or two days before, they post something asking the whole community a question. Who, huh, in this, in his case, what coin should I buy, guys? I'm, I'm thinking about going into crypto. And literally a day or two days later, those content creators are going to come out Hamza came out and said, oh yeah, guys, don't worry, I found a crypto. No, as a matter of fact, I created my own crypto called Smash. Go, go, go put your money. Hello, guys. There is one crypto coin about me. They call it Smash. Let's smash together, guys. Let's go. Only three things got smashed in this situation. People's wallets, Hamza's reputation, and that coin's value. Now, I'm not an expert in crypto, but it doesn't take a fucking genius to figure out this graph. Shit went flatter than when you put a needle inside Nicki Minaj's butt. Now again, I don't know shit about crypto. All I know is the pump, pump, dump. It's pretty self-explained when anyone with an influence on the internet is going to come and tell you, do you want to get rich? It ends up less than 48 hours. Your dreams are going to get fucking crushed. Your wallet is going to be crying. And the only person who's going to get rich is that person who told you to do it. And the developers who paid this influencer. Now, according to the sources, $1 million was stolen. Now, no need to panic. I know this is too much to handle. You probably don't know what the hell this is. But do not worry. I don't know either. All I know it, it this is this is was the coin. And it just got distributed. This is someone, uh, the crypto investigator who posted this picture saying it all linked up to the account sources and the addresses which is linked to the developers Hamza and a few people got a huge chunk of it and the rest of it were they were in small addresses at the end around hundred thousand dollars was given to these people I guess these were the people a part of the team but these are the big people who got paid I have no idea what I'm talking about now why would an undefeated UFC champion 10 and 0 do something like this to give you a little bit of recap, Hamza hasn't been fighting for the past 9 to 10 months, I believe, because of his injuries. He's, he's been going through some hard time because of his immune system. Bro used to fight once a month and he had to stop fighting because he has to recover. He was actually hospitalized a few months ago. He's, he went viral all over the place. But we don't know how long it's going to take him to recover and get back on his feet again and start fighting and making money again. He said that he's not going to retire, he's still going to fight in the future. But people who pull these kind of things, doesn't look like they want to continue the whole fame thing. A pump-up dubbed crypto scam is just like a TikTok live 
where you go and you say, guys, tap on the screen and send gifts. Send gifts only so we can defeat this other person, our opponent. We cannot let them win, even though the whole purpose of this is just to get money. They don't give a shit about the other guy. Honestly, I don't understand why people do it in the first place. Even if you're like irrelevant, even if your whole influence is dead, no one cares about you on the internet anymore. Still, you, you don't want to fucking bury your whole thing and reputation and give yourself a bad name forever and never have a chance to make a comeback. Like you can hide in the bushes, be high on mushrooms and knock out a woman who's just jogging, minding her, her own business and still make a recovery after it, after a few years. But if you scam someone and be known as a crypto scammer, it's not gonna work. And most of these people, what, what is their excuse when they come out? They're gonna say, oh, I didn't know. I was as blind as you. That shit don't work no more. In 2020, if anyone, 2020, 2021, anyone would have used that, it would have been believable because scams weren't that common in crypto. But in 2024, everyone knows. And Hamza is not an 18-year-old guy who just got fame all of a sudden and has no idea what crypto is. 100% the people he hangs out with, they know what crypto is. He 100% hangs out with a lot of businessmen and people who are familiar with crypto and who do crypto themselves. So he knows the game. And overall, I'm very disappointed in Hamza. I actually liked him as a person, his whole personality and... His fight was very entertaining. And it's a shame to see him go down like this. I swear to God, this whole crypto scam hump hump dump thing is becoming a trend between all celebrities and influencers out there. Fastest way to get a huge chunk of change and the fastest way to kill your whole reputation. But now that I think about it, making millions and millions of dollars in a day doesn't sound that bad to me, to be honest. That was pretty nice to be fair. Guys, I'm launching a coin next week. We'll try to name it though. It is not a scam 21. I promise. <laughs> I, I, I promise this is real. I promise you'll be rich 54. No tell 69. <laughs> I don't know, man. But on a serious note, if I ever promote a crypto on this channel or my Instagram or TikTok, just know I'm either being held at gunpoint or it's AI. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know what you think of Hamza with this act that he did if you're not sick of my face watching two videos a day on this channel if you want more go check out call me kush channel i post the the aftermaths edited from the stream there's also my discord link in the description kush premium if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one yapping sessions and just ha whole community having a yapping gathering i appreciate you watching the video all the way through make sure to leave a like if you're new here you enjoyed the video and you enjoyed these yapping sessions make sure to drop that sub Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.